Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hollow's Eve. Now let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. Now your first card here is the Page of Cups. There is an offering, a love offering, some type of communication that opens up perhaps from a person that you've been expecting or wanting to hear from. The obstacle to overcome is the strength card. So try to pull away from your ego, Virgo. Um, there's a lot of pride involved in this connection. This could be a connection with a recent person or this could be a person from your past. Nonetheless, with the strength card, uh, the obstacle to overcome here is the ego, it's the pride, it's the I, this could be the person that's coming towards you as well, uh, that the reason why there was no communication or no movement could have been because there was some type of ego being hurt here. Now you also do have the chariot card and the chariot card speaks about quick momentum, quick movement. The Justice card, the balance, being able to feel like you're more in control of this situation. And yep, we have communication coming through. I feel that for some of you guys, this could be a communication from a person that um, perhaps they ghosted you. Perhaps they stopped communicating. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that there was some type of distancing involved. Um, and I mean like literal distance. Because uh, I do have the chariot here. But I do see a communication open up. And what they're telling you here is don't let the pride get the best of you, Virgo. It's very important, especially with the justice card. It's almost like if you felt at some point that you were being treated uh, unfairly or that they weren't being as transparent or as honest with you, uh, they're quickly coming back around trying to give some type of clarification, some type of proving to you. And what they're telling you is this, gonna, this is going to bring a lot of balance, but this is also going to be very empowering for you if you don't let the ego get involved. Yeah, and this is definitely a person from your past that you're going to be dealing with. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Cancer, a Libra, an Aquarius. It could be an air sign, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or Libra. Yeah, there's no budging for some of you guys. I think that this could be uh, in regards to love in particular, what they're saying. Um, what they're trying to convey here is that communication opens up with the person from your past. This could be a person that moved away. This could be a person that uh, perhaps were, uh, were in the pursuit of career. Uh, and all of a sudden, they start coming back around trying to make contact, perhaps for some, because they will be returning uh, where they moved away from or if they moved away from you it could be coming back around the same neighborhood the same uh, where they were initially from and they're trying to put some type of you know uh, mending fences here but ultimately I feel that for some of you guys you guys were either hurt because this communication ended for others of you you felt hurt because you felt like this person was ignoring you perhaps um, or this could have been a person that you were dating that out of nowhere just ghosted you or didn't want to communicate anymore and all of a sudden they're coming back around. What they're telling you here is have confidence in yourself, Virgo. If this was a person that legitimately mistreated you or completely ghosted you without giving you any explanation, you have every right to be upset or to not even want to open that communication or allow them to come back into your life. But if you feel like there were some things that were still left unsaid or undone between you guys, or this was a connection that never really took flight, I feel that this is a second opportunity coming back around. You do have the two of swords with the four of cups. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could be like you're over the situation. You're not trying to deal with this anymore. And if that's the case, then that's great. Because that just means that you're empowered, that you are understanding the power the value that you bring to relationships, to friendships. This could even be in connection with family members or friends around you that for some reason have a tendency of only wanting to come around you when their life is difficult or when they're having a lot of, you know, obstacles that are getting in their way. 
because you're a good friend, because you're nurturing, because you try to be there for them. But if you feel that at this point, this is toxic type of energy, then obviously don't reciprocate that type of energy. If you feel like you're over it and you've moved on or you're no longer wanting to deal with that type of energy, then don't hesitate. But don't entertain them either, Virgo, because then that leaves you on the other on the other end, which is exactly what they did. You don't want to be doing exactly or imitating or emulating what they did in the past that made you feel this way. I hope that makes sense. Now, for others of you, I feel that for some, you may be dealing with, you may be dealing with like quick opportunities coming to you, finding out that people are interested in you or that are wanting to get to know you. But you stand there and you wonder why it doesn't last or why the connection starts off strong, but it never really evolves into anything long term or anything serious. And what they're saying here is that there may be a blockage here. You may communicate or deal with people that are emotionally unavailable to you. Or it could represent that you yourself are emotionally unavailable and you're not aware of that. You feel like you're ready. You feel like you want to start a relationship. But there is something within you and it could be a fear. It could be a fear of being left, of being, you know, walked out on that type of energy and it could be from past experiences but what spirit is saying is either way things are going to quickly start to change for you virgo but you have to be in your own power you have to be confident in yourself you have to believe in yourself all these opportunities not only with love but in regards to how you're making money in regards to financial stability all of this is going to be coming and moving very um very quickly for you for I want to say the middle of October all the way to the third week of October, you're going to be very surprised that opportunities that land, literally land on your lap. Um, this could be unexpected surprises. This could be opportunities that, you know, um, if you're looking for a job, a friend will let you know, hey, there's this place that they're hiring. If you are looking for trying to meet someone it could be a friend that comes to you and is like hey i know this person this person is single and they're good people and you guys would definitely vibe that type those type of opportunities it's like it's very unexpected but it could something great can come from it if you choose to be open okay don't be so judgy as well virgo <laughs> all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment i wish you guys the very best i hope you guys stay safe and happy Hallow's Eve to everyone out there. Love you guys. Bye.